Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Healthspan. We had a few requests from our audience for an update on Dr. Catcher's experiment with E5, and this is the topic for today's video. As always, we would like to thank NTZ Publishing for their newsletter for most of the information in these updates, though Josh Middledore's blog is another great source that we have used. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing some news items that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. First, a very brief introduction to the current experiment. The trial is a follow-on from an original experiment that was documented in a preprint paper published in May 2020. Reversing age, dual species measurement of epigenetic age with a single clock. The study was on rats, and the amazing thing about the result was an average 54% reduction in epigenetic age as measured by a clock developed by Dr. Steve Horvath. We have covered the original paper as well as interviews with its main author, Dr. Harold Katcher, on our channel. May I suggest that you review these if you would like to know more of the background. Because of the positive results of the first experiment, a follow-on study was started. The aim of the experiment was to see how long rats who were continually given the treatment would live and would the treatment lead to an extended lifespan. The treatment group would receive an injection of E5 every 90 days. E5 is the substance that Dr. Katcher has developed that has the rejuvenation effect when injected into the veins. We know it's based on factors from young blood, but the details are not known, while Dr. Katcher and his teams seek a patent for it. This experiment started in February 2021, at which time the rats were 25 months old. This is already middle-aged for a rat, about 62 in human terms. The newsletter says that they are now 38 months old. I would calculate it as 39, which is about 95 in human terms. This is approaching the maximum lifespan for a sprayed dolly rat. At the beginning of the experiment, there were eight rats in each group. Here is the update from May 2022. There are six of the treated rats still alive and four of the controls. We don't have the figures for the blood markers interleukin-6, TNF-alpha, ETC that were provided before, but from Josh Middledorf's blog, they seem to be tracking closer to the controls now. Again on the blog, Dr. Katcher suspects that this is related to sex, as the first cohort were all male, while this cohort are all female. Dr. Katcher has gone to the lab in Mumbai to investigate this and see if he can tune E5 to be more suitable for females. Here he is in the Mumbai lab performing a grip strength test on one of the rats. Grip strength is one of the metrics that has been maintained as being significantly better between the old treated and the old control, where the treated group are 2.6 times as strong as the untreated controls. And finally, Neil, the topical cream also available from Uvan. This is now shipping in the US. Customers have received it and posted comments on Josh Middledore's blog and the Neil website. Neil is also covered in our interviews with Dr. Katcher, though it was then known as Blue Gel. Here is a brief introduction to it taken from an interview between Nicholas from NTZ Publishing and Dr. Katcher. The basic ingredient is GHK, or glycyl L-histidine L-lysine. It is present in young people at 200 nanograms per milliliter of blood, but this drops to 80 nanograms per milliliter, or less than half as we age. It seems to be involved in wound healing, and it works by resetting genes to a more youthful expression. However, it has a half-life of half an hour, so will not remain in the blood for long. The idea behind Neil is that it will allow GHK to permeate through the skin, providing a more even distribution of GHK over time. It is called Neil as this is blue in Sanskrit, and it is blue because it contains cupric ions rather than because it has a dye. I would like to highlight and thank the sources of this information. The first is the UVAN newsletter published by NTZ. You can sign up for the newsletter at www.ntzplural.com slash newsletter. Some other information came from Josh Middledorf's blog, Aging Matters, 
particularly this entry, which has many comments related to activity at UVAN and this experiment. And the Neil homepage, where you can order the product and learn more about it. Thanks everyone for watching. Speak to you again soon.